A well-selected power wheelchair can provide you with independent mobility, caregiver assistance, and the ability to continue participating in meaningful activities. To ensure that the best selection is made for you, it is important to understand when to begin asking about a wheelchair, how the overall wheelchair evaluation process works, and your options. Do not view the chair as a loss of function, but as a tool that will minimize fatigue and enable you to continue to live your life to its fullest. You should begin discussing your needs with your physician if you experience any of the following. Fatigue, falls, staying in the car instead of going into a store, limiting what you drink due to difficulty getting to the bathroom in time, staying home because you feel like a burden or that you will slow friends and family down. Insurance will pay for one wheelchair or scooter every five years. Experts recommend using your insurance to pay for a power wheelchair instead of a scooter or manual wheelchair because ultimately a power wheelchair will become necessary. Before arriving for your evaluation, it is important to consider several aspects of your home environment that may influence the choices you make about your power wheelchair. Look at your home, especially the size of doorways and walkways. Being able to get a power wheelchair into the bedroom and bathroom is especially important, and if your home has tight spaces, you may need to consider a smaller power wheelchair. A house with stairs can also pose barriers to a power wheelchair, and a ramp, lift, or elevator may need to be installed. This choice may depend on your available funds as well as the space. A power wheelchair is made up of many parts, each of which is modifiable to meet your needs. In general, there is a wheelbase, the seat, and the drive control. The wheelbase includes the wheels, the motor, and the battery. The major decisions for the wheelbase is choosing between front, mid, and rear wheel drive. Each has strengths and weaknesses. The environment you spend the most time in will determine which option is best, but be sure to try a front and mid wheel drive during the evaluation to experience the differences as turning radius, size, and drivability are different. The seat includes the cushions, back, armrests, leg rests, headrest, and the power seating features. Many of these choices will be personal preference, so try several options. As your health status changes, contact your therapist to modify these parts. The power seating options are extremely important. These options typically include power elevating legs, which can decrease swelling in the legs, tilt, which moves the whole seat while maintaining the hip angle and can increase trunk stability and relieve pressure, recline, which increases the angle at the back and can relieve pressure and increase comfort, and seat elevation, which raises the entire seat and can increase reach, allow for eye-to-eye -eye conversations, and assist in transfers. Finally, the drive control allows you to drive the power wheelchair. Typically, this is through a joystick, but there are many options that allow you to maintain control of the power wheelchair as your function changes and can be operated with nearly any part of your body. Eventually, if you need a caregiver to assist with your mobility, attendant control is another option and is especially helpful when getting the power wheelchair in and out of a vehicle. Power wheelchairs are large and can pose an issue when considering transportation. Public transportation can be an option, however, it's not always available and may limit your flexibility. Modified vans are an option depending on your available funds. These allow you to remain seated in your power wheelchair throughout the drive. You may be able to find a used van for sale that can save significantly on overall costs. Here are some important tips to make sure that you're getting the power wheelchair that fits your needs. Be proactive. Communicate with your care team about any current problems or loss of functioning you may have. Don't be afraid to express any fears or concerns with using a power wheelchair. There are people to program the power wheelchair and train you on how to use it. Know your options. Spend some time researching what choices are available and make sure to be informed about what your insurance will cover. There are multiple wheelchair vendors and each offer different power wheelchairs and parts. Consider joining an ALS support group so you can learn from other individuals with ALS and their experiences through the power wheelchair evaluation process. Finally, don't settle. Continue searching for the power wheelchair and its features that supports the life you want to live. It may take a lot of trial and error, but it will be worth it.